Assalamu alaikum everyone and today we are going to be talking about scalars and vectors. As we said in our introductory physics video, physics will be comprised of many different topics, ranging from quantum physics studying quantum particles all the way up to massive one things and things in our world that we can measure and calculate and visualize. So this is a huge range of topics and to communicate this topic, we need to understand a couple of terminology and all knowledge about the scientific notation and SI units will, will be presumed in this series. So let's begin off with the two basic no things that we will be looking over in physics, scalars and vectors. So what is a scalar? A scalar is something that only conveys magnitude, a quantity. So say a mass of something can be a scalar or a temperature or how much time has elapsed. This only conveys magnitude magnitude only magnitude as for vectors they convey both magnitude and direction this concept is important in physics to look into fundamental forces forces are vectors they point to a specific direction and they point there by a specific magnitude and we have to understand that and to understand that, we have to understand vectors. Now, scalars are very simple. Scalars are about the mass of an object. Uh, it is basically only magnitude. It is extremely simple. You can use basic SI units and all that. As for vectors, vectors are a little bit more complicated. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to subtract, add, and multiply vectors, and also a little bit of a practice problem. So at first, how to add vectors. So we have V1 and V2 here. V1 is the first vector, V2 is the second vector. What we do here is at the end of the first vector, we just put on the second vector and we create a sort of hypotenuse. This hypotenuse is the resultant vector and this whole thing is the result. This can be shown in many ways. So if V1 and V2 are pointing in the same direction, they're just a longer vector that is the sum of the two magnitudes. And if it is at an angle, we just create the hypotenuse like we said. As for vector subtraction, we take the very same thing we did, except now we add it to the negative. So instead of positive like V1 plus V2, we have V1 minus V2 with the negative side being associated here. And this is the resultant vector. As for vector multiplication, there are two ways to multiply vectors. Multiply by scalar and multiply by vectors themselves. Multiplying by scalar is basically taking something V1 and multiplying them by a specific number, so like doubling it V1 to V1. As for vectors multiplying vectors, this is a much more complex topic, which we'll be going over in our future series of linear algebra, which is gonna be way after calculus itself. So, yeah, and so that's vectors and scalars and how to operate with vectors and scalars. How do we use it? Well, let's take and this analogy. So say you're a pirate, don't ask me why, and you're traveling a specific direction, probably to find treasure. You are moving at the speed of 10 meters per second but the current is two meters per second. Which way will the direction go? We simply add the vectors. So we take 10 
we go for two. We swap where the two is to match with the uh, with the first vector that defines the speed, the velocity, and then we use that velocity and the mm, current, and we create a hypotenuse, and we find out what the hypotenuse is, and then we can use a lot of trig functions to find out more about what this right triangle is, etc., etc., etc. is just the gist and we'll be going over a lot more in this physics series but this is enough for today stay tuned for more physics series anyway this was a lot thank you. that's all there is to it thank you for watching please like the video and subscribe and share it to anyone who might need it. And thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.